welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Like, hit that subscribe button and join the community of my fellow career savages. Make sure you like this video, comment as well, and hit that share button if you know anybody else who may benefit from this content. All right, let's get started. So as you can tell from the title of this video, it's for my pre-med majors, for my biology majors, for my chemistry majors, for my psychology majors, for any science-based major. Anybody with a bachelor in science, this video is for you. So when I went to college, I feel like I was grossly misled because nobody told me that you can do other things in the science world without having a doctorate. Like you don't have to go to medical school. Come here, a little closer, a little closer. You don't have to go to medical school or pharmacy school or any type of doctoral program in order to use your undergrad degree, okay? Because I feel like what they do is they mislead a lot of pre-med biology, chemistry, science majors into believing that the only way you're gonna excel in life is if you go to med school. And a lot of people go through college confused, stressed, scared. They don't know if they're gonna even wanna be a doctor anymore. So they completely dump their science degree and go and do something else. But I am literally here to tell you that it's not even like that. Half of the people that I work with right now, I mean, there are a lot of people who have their PharmD, but they have their PharmD because they wanted to be pharmacists and they wanted to work in a pharmacy. And because working in a pharmacy is so annoying, they've ended up trying to get into pharmaceutical industry, which is regulatory affairs, clinical affairs, medical affairs, one of those natures, somewhere in the pharma industry. But their intention wasn't that, you know, they got their PharmD and they needed it to do regulatory affairs or any of those things. Cause they, you really don't need a doctor to be in regulatory. I think because it's becoming sad Saturated, it might be a little bit more difficult, but anyway, I'm saying things that don't even matter. There are a lot of different avenues you can go down when you have a science degree, when you have a biology degree. For one, you can be a consultant. And let's say you are, you know, you're a pre-med bio major or you're a chemist. And as a chemist, you know the structure of different drugs. You might be a little entry level, so you may have to like get a job working in a lab as a chemist to get the experience that you really need or get a job working in a pharmaceutical industry or working for a hospital or something like that. Get the skills you really need to build a skill set that you can now sell to like companies because as an entry level chemist you can't really consult on anything because you don't even know how to use your degree yet as a biologist the same thing but you can work in a lab you can work at a pharmaceutical company you can work at a hospital you can work for a nonprofit organization you can work for a community organization there are so many things you can do without having to go and get your MD I know a lot of people who are in my pre-med program who wish they ended up studying public health because when you have your public health degree you can go and work for a community organization and a lot of community organizations help pharmaceutical companies organize focus groups and you can be someone who moderates focus groups and kind of listens to how patients feel about their disease and help pharmaceutical companies procure a better adherence to their medication strategy you can help with medication compliance you can help with quality assurance especially if you're a chemist you can go and work for like a clinical research organization and work in their like analytical lab or there are literally CROs who only do analytical testing for the drug substance and drug products that pharmaceutical companies use or their applied pharmaceutical ingredients, also known as APIs. You can go and work in a lab and do something with that if you wanna work in a lab. You don't have to only be, like it's not only that test tube stuff that you guys think that they tell you in school. Those are your only options. There are a lot of options and like I just said, consultancy is one of them once you get further in your career. Working in a lab is obviously one of them. Working in a hospital as a medical assistant or working in their epidemiology department, working in their biostats department. There are so many things that we can do and I just feel like I always tell you guys, do your research. Like research different jobs that you can do. Submit your resume, if, even if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, whatever, it doesn't matter what level you're in in your undergrad program, submit your resume online and just see like what's out there. Look for jobs on LinkedIn, see what's available. Connect with recruiters who are looking for biology new grads and see what jobs they have available and research those titles and see if it's something you're interested in. I bet you guys don't know what pharmacovigilance is because they don't tell you. And pharmacovigilance are the people that like, let's say someone took at like, a specific medication and they had an allergic reaction to it and they call the number on the back of the bottle. The people who pick up the phone are considered pharmacovigilant and they document all that information and track it and send it back to the pharmaceutical company who then gives it to their safety department who then submits it to the FDA. That's not even what I do. That's a completely different division. So there are so many different steps that you can get involved in as a science major that you can explore that does not involve you going back to school to become a medical doctor if you don't want to. Now, if 
you want to, I encourage all people to go and get their doctorate degree. That's really what you wanna do. You wanna work with patients on a patient-patient basis, do that. Also look into becoming a physician's assistant. Look into becoming an RN. I mean, you have to get your bachelor's in nursing, so if you're a biology major, you may have to pivot that way. Look into getting a bachelor's in public health. Look into getting other degrees that don't only say you have to be a medical doctor. I just don't like this narrative that colleges and universities put out there that it's like pre-med means you're on track to be a physician. It doesn't always have to mean that. And I feel like they need to work a little harder to giving people options. I hate that I didn't have like a list of positions available for you guys, but I'm gonna put some in the description box that are other options for pre-med bio or any science major, some job titles that you guys can look into and the industry that it's associated with. So maybe that will give you guys a little bit better insight, but I just really wanna encourage you guys to do your research. And another thing is if you're going into medicine, if you're going into pre-med thinking that you wanna be a doctor because you're gonna make money, because you're gonna make money? People in tech make more than some doctors, by the way. Like, I've said this in so many videos. Pediatricians don't make that much money. Family practice doesn't make that much money. There are people who are in quality assurance, regulatory affairs, clinical research and development, medical writing. You can also be a medical writer. I forgot to say that. You can be a medical writer where you help write protocols and other scientific data. You can help write the labels for um, different medications, those package inserts, those thick books that you guys get in your medicines. You can help write that as well. You can go into commercialization in medicine and health with a bachelor's of science degree. Like you can literally go into medical marketing, those commercials as well. All that stuff you can do with a biology degree. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna put some positions down below for you guys so you can just start to like broaden your search and broaden your perspective. Don't feel pigeon-tailed to pursue medicine because you think they're also gonna make so much money. Like I said, people in different careers make a lot of money. They're not only doctors. I hope this video was helpful for somebody. I know I was rambling a lot. It just frustrates me so much because as a fellow pre-med major, I just feel like they're not giving you guys all the information you need. And I feel like they need to tell you guys from the gate what your career options are. So you can either stay in your major or change your mind. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, share, and comment on this video. And until next time, bye.